Coalition members say there is a staffing crisis, and because of that, Maryland has the third longest wait list for health care services. They believe this package of bills will address that issue and others. The work gives me the opportunity to help people lead better lives, and that's why I do it. Home care aide Cynthia Neely loves looking after people, but she says there's a problem. She's overworked and underpaid, making $13.50 an hour. She says staffing shortages are severe. At some places, there are just two employees responsible for as many as 40 patients. We try our best, but we can't do everything these older patients need and deserve. It's so frustrating. They're not happy and their families are upset. Our aging population is set to explode 40% by 2030. The newly formed Caring Across Maryland Coalition is supporting a package of bills. One is aimed at giving long-term care workers a raise. The average salary is just $34,000 a year. One in five certified nursing assistants are on public assistance. The funding would come from the state, setting a 10% increase in federal Medicaid reimbursement funds. And allow the increase to be specifically designated for worker wages and benefits. Another piece of legislation requires the Maryland Health Care Commission to share owner information with the Office of Health Care Quality. The bill sponsor says in the past year, a dozen nursing homes under new ownership have been flagged for poor quality of care. The bill is intended to keep those with poor track records out of Maryland. Residents of private equity owned nursing homes were more likely to have emergency room visits or be hospitalized than residents of other for-profit homes. The package of bills requires the Maryland Department of Aging to keep a registry of those employed by home care agencies and their training. Another bill stops the practice of misclassifying workers as independent contractors. Reporting from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.